Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. In this episode, I got some very important information for you for your hydroponics garden. Stick around. All right, guys. Now, today's episode is going to be talking about seed preser uh, preservation. Now, let's talk about this because it is very, very important, guys. If you're going to be buying any types of seeds in bulk, like I did for our cilantro hydroponic system. Now, we encountered a problem. Now, on our previous uh, batch that we had in our rail system, we had a great success within the germination and the hydroponics uh, process for the cilantro. Now, what I encountered is that on our second turnaround for our second batch, we... Um, you know, I, I showed a video about us germinating the seeds again, and basically... Two weeks have passed and, you know, three or four maybe sprouted, but none of the other ones did. No, so that left me thinking, what's going on here? Um, and I bought a dome to keep it uh, well, uh, keep a good humidity inside the uh, tray for the, um, the germination uh, containers that I have. And basically, you know, I, I was left clueless on what was going on. Now... I had my seeds in the bedroom, you know, stored away. Now, the problem is that what I encountered is that the seeds have to be kept refrigerated. Now, I was like, really? I was like, why is this? You know, so I was doing some research, and that's how I fell upon this information, is that if any type of humidity reaches your seeds, they're not going to sprout out. Um, the, you know, the scientific... I don't know the case, but I'm guessing any type of humidity would stun their uh, sprouting out. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind, guys. This is very important because I wasn't aware of this. Now, I did when I was doing my research, um, there's this organization that I'll have the link down below, which they have millions of seeds of millions of types of uh, varieties of seeds that are basically kept in, I think, in the Arctic. Now, basically, you know, all these seeds are preserved there, so no type of humidity would get to them, and also to keep them well preserved, so whenever you, uh, whenever we or anyone else needs them, they will be available. This is obviously for some type of disaster, a global disaster that happens that, you know, all of our trees or plants may die, but, you know, if taking that into consideration, if you're going to be buying your seeds in bulk, you have to keep them in a well area, um, keep them in the freezer or keep them in the um, in the refrigerator in the vegetable section where there's no humidity. This is going to preserve your seeds for up to a year. Okay, basically, if you're going to be buying seeds in bulk, make sure that you know you date them when you buy them, and you can go ahead and preserve them and continue to use them and rotate your uh, your your product. Um, this is very important because. Um, I don't know if you guys may know, but I wasn't aware of this. I thought by just keep them in a Ziploc bag or in a regular bag seal, that would be plenty enough. But the case may be for us, it didn't, it wasn't enough. So that's why I'm bringing this information to you guys. So you can be well aware that, you know, if you're going to be buying your seeds in bulk, any types of seeds, make sure that you keep them in a non-humid area. Um, you know, like I recommend, keep them in the freezer or keep them inside the refrigerator in the non-humidity section. If you have one of those, make sure you put them in double Ziploc bags. That's what I did now is put them in, in two Ziploc bags to be able to have my seeds well preserved because, you know, I'm buying them in a good amount. So I don't have to be going back to the store to purchase them. Um, and that's the case for the time being. You know, I was left clueless on why my seeds weren't sprouting out. You know, I was through the internet searching and searching and searching what was going on and I went to my local hydroponics and they, they asked me a couple questions and they pinpointed the situation and that's why I'm bringing you this information now guys so you to be well aware where you're keeping your seeds and making sure that you continue to have a wool production in your hydroponic system and um, you can keep on uh, um, growing your greens. Um, in reference to that, um, all of our updates will be you know, in reference to our, our next batch, it will be delayed for the time being because of this little incident that occurred. Um, basically, what else has been going on with our hydroponic system is that 
our fogger completely died out. Now, um, this can be for a numerous amount of reasons. It was either a default, uh, faulty uh, fogger that we purchased. Luckily enough that our, um, our cilantro that were going in our, fog, in our fog ponding system were well rooted out and basically they reached down into the water. So now we are le leaving it for what they called a cracky method um, bucket system basically is where you um, have your 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 plants on top of the bucket and inside a net pot the same way for the fog ponics um, once they root out and they touch the water what the plants are going to do at this moment is um, the ones that are touching the water will absorb the nutrients and the rest of the roots that are exposed that are not in the water will be uh, gathering oxygen and basically what this is going to allow them to do is be able to get the nutrients and also be well oxygenated uh, for their uh, growth and basically um, it's a better for them because um, you don't have to be you know maintaining the water uh, the water level because once you start out, I'm sorry, once you start out with a certain level, they will start to um, suck up all the water and hopefully once the water's at a lower level, then that they should be completely grown at that point. So basically, we're going to leave this for our cracky method uh, bucket. We're going to leave that as it is until we receive our new fogger so we can go ahead and do it in a different um Instead of a bucket, what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of those 25-gallon um, containers and basically have a bigger uh, fog ponic system from that. Um, so stick around for that, for a DIY on that. And basically, um, everything's been going really well for us in reference to uh, sorting these little problems out and getting everything sorted out for our new batch. Um, like I mentioned before in our previous video, uh, what we're going to be doing now for the... Uh, for the rail system, instead of having just one uh, cilantro uh, cube, what we're going to do is we're going to put two so to double up our production in reference to that. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to sort out a good containers for the aeroponic system, so stick around for that as well. If you have any questions or concern, guys, make sure that you leave them down below. And if you did like the video, make sure that you slap down that like button so we can see that you like the videos and we can continue to produce uh, more videos in the future and if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys make sure that you do it's very important that you guys subscribe to the channel so you can be updated on a weekly basis from our videos that we're going to be putting out if you have any um any questions in reference to anything that we've been doing or anything that you would like to see in the in the future make sure that you send it down in the comment section so we can go ahead and get that into production and um thank you for sticking around guys see you on the next video